draw evil Arthur. First we start off with a little werewolf shape. Now give that egg boy some specks and some itty bitty eyebrows. Two horseshoes for ears and for his mouth and nose it just kind of looks like a squinty smiley face. Hee <laughs> hee. Why he looking at me like I beg your pardon? Then you make him look real business casual with that sweater shirt combo. Then you give him two hands cause you know aardvark right? Got the relaxed fit jeans on sale and some fake converse looking like tuck chalers. Man, I'm just playing. He do be looking clean, though. But you know what he is missing? The details. Whoopsie! About to draw evil cat dog. First draw a really bent weenie. Then add three ovals to the left side of your weenie. Now draw a Peter Griffin mouth. Throw in some squares for teeth. Then add some horns, even though they're ears. And some extra sneaky eyes. Now to this side, you're gonna wanna add a mighty bean. Throw in a circle, even though mine looks terrible. Dog be having some googly eyes. And the same teeth you'd be seeing on like a kid's dinosaur shirt. And a tear-shaped ear. Then throw in some legs or you'll just have a floating cat dog weenie. And of course, some spots. Clean up the mess you've made. One fine day with a wolf and a purr, a baby was born in Kozloster. Cat dog, whoopsie! How to draw evil Pac-Man. First you make a pizza pie with a giant missing slice. And then you add just one black olive to your pizza pie for the eye. Just kidding, what is this easy mode? Okay so start off with your pizza pie again. Then you're gonna wanna add a watermelon slice to the side. And then add a stumpy peach to the center. Upside down you for a nose. And strangely enough his eyes are just other little Pac-Man. Arrow eyebrows on fleek. And make sure to give him some craft Easy Mac limbs. Speaking of Mac, give him boxing gloves. And for some weird reason, give him cute little Wayne boots. Hmm, this Pac-Man might look great and all, but it definitely doesn't look evil. I think it needs the details. Whoopsie! How to draw evil boots. And I don't mean goth boots, even though these are pretty cool. Well, first, draw a frog head. You see, even when I add eyes, a nose, and a mouth, it still looks like a frog. Frankenstein flat top, give him big old ears like mine. Then add an upside down tear on his head. Each one represents someone he took out, of course. Add a banana, west side, another banana. East side, talk about playing monkey in the middle. Add a bulletproof pack, some cholo tube socks. And just like Dora, he be rocking the latest from Walmart. And for his tail, it's pretty much just a question mark that's fallen on its side. Then you clean it up. Do you see evil anywhere? You don't? Well, add the details. Whoopsie! How to draw evil Squidward. Okay, first you're gonna draw a potato. You can even add spuds on the top. Then a curved line going down. Throw in some eggies, and now they become eyes. Add a line and a pickle. Add a little smirk. Then you draw this little chubby dangling nose. Make sure you make his body look like a deflated balloon. No, my boy Squiddy rocking that fresh Ralph Lauren, not to be confused with your cousin Lauren. And give him the chicken wing mom pose. So here's a quick trick. No legs, right? But when I go, legs. Make sure to clean it up or Squidward will be disappointed. Hey, Squidward. Well, Squidward might be depressed, but he definitely doesn't look evil in here. Oh, that's right. The details. Whoopsie. How to draw evil SpongeBob. First draw a wiggly square. Now add a wiggly rectangle to give it dimension. Can't be Spongebob without the square pants. Now give him a big watermelon mouth. Add in bubble cheeks. Throw in googly eyes that stare into your soul. Little Vienna sausage nose. Oh, and the lashes. The tongue. The little tonsil action. And big goofy teeth. Nah! Spongebob's outfit is pretty much every person who pretends to be a nerd for Halloween. You know, tie, a shirt with a collar, and of course a belt. They also wear suspenders, but Spongebob doesn't, although he would look pretty cool with them. Throw in two peg legs. I love you, Spongebob, but... His arms do be looking like shrooms, though. And give him sticky hands. Trypophobia alert. After I cleaned it up, I almost forgot his socks. Hmm, this doesn't look evil. What about if we add the detail? Whoopsie! How to draw evil Tony the Tiger. First draw a lopsided piece of toast. Then for the body you're gonna wanna draw a chicken leg piece. Then erase this line. Add a booty. One round tortilla chip. These eyes suck, but you get the point. Insert ears. Draw a typical cartoon mouth. Uh, and I say typical because they literally all look the same. Now give him a boomerang for legs. Make sure to give him some meaty paw feet. Now you know Tony definitely lifts. That's why his arms are pretty thick.
Draw this paw bent like this. You know, something like, like this. So for his other paw, it's pretty much just three eggs, an oval, and a little pi pickle. It's, you know, like, like a pickle. And now you gangstify him with his bandana. They even say Tony. Belly. Line him up. And a tail. Add a stripe for every person Tony's taken out. And some whiskers. This is great and all, but it sure isn't evil. Oh wait, the details. Whoopsie! How to draw evil Snoopy. First things first, draw a baby shoe. Add this lump in the back. And Snoopy's body is pretty much a vase. Even adding his collar makes him look more like a vase. Add a little smirk for his mouth. Then we add his nose. I swear it's a nose. A little ring for his eye. Add a little chubby paw hand. And two bread loaves for feet. Connect it. Add a little paintbrush tail. Erase all the garbage. And then you throw some shade. Translation. This doesn't look very evil to me. Must need the detail. Whoopsie! How to draw evil swiper. First you're gonna wanna draw a weenie doing a limbo. Then add a duck bill. Start a little curved line from here to here. Another curved line that goes from there to there. Then draw a little mouth underneath the duck bill and make sure it looks like one of those <laughs> mouths. Then we add that little Rudolph nose. Add the ears which pretty much look like cat ears. His bandana do be looking like a fish though. Some typical cartoon eyes. Some hockey stick arms. Add some gloves because you don't know what kind of nasty stuff he be doing. Add that sneaky run position because you know he's stealing something whether it's an item or your girl. And don't forget Swiper's nice fat thick tail. Oh my goodness I almost forgot his eyebrows and the whiskers. Clean it up with Mistoline, I mean this eraser. Hey Swiper you don't look so evil. Oh man. I think we need the details. Whoopsie. But to draw evil Sonic. First start off with this cartoon chicken hand, then draw this curvy M and what looks like to be a shoe. Rudolph nose and a little smirk. Oh yeah, and definitely some eyes too. And if you know what Doritos are, you'll have no problem with those ears. His body do be looking like a strawberry dough. And to be honest, his legs are pretty much just celery sticks smushing marshmallows. And you know Sonic gotta be rocking the Ultra XTs. And his arm looks like something from a Kinex building set. Next, position his hands in a manner that would make most artists cry. Once you wipe the tears away, please add a random parrot beak in the back. Wow, Sonic looks great and very fast, but definitely not evil. Well, gotta add the details. Whoopsie! But to draw the eye mouth eye emoji. First draw this shape that kind of looks like a little mustache. Then for the bottom lip you add like an empanada shape right here. Now add a simple line for the teeth. And when it comes to the eye shape it kind of looks like a chubby flaxseed. And for the iris make sure you draw a nice circle. And for the pupil, what a surprise, another circle. And for the highlight, guess what? Do I even have to say it again? And of course you can't just have one eyed willy over here, you gotta do it to the other side. Now the only thing left to do is add the details. Whoopsie!